Hi everybody, today I'll show you how to create single product page in WooCommerce Elementor. So let's begin. Alright, so the first thing that we need to do here is to go inside the plugins and click on add new plugin. And here we have to search for shop lantern. Alright, so as you can see here, we have the shop lantern here. So I have already installed and activated the shop lantern. So after installing this, what we need to do, we have to go into the dashboard of the shop lender. And from here, what you need to do, you have to enable all of the elements here. So I had already enabled these options. And after this, what we need to do, we have to go inside WooCommerce template. And if the template builder is not enabled, you will simply enable this from here. Okay. So here you can see the option of the single product template. Okay. So here what we need to do, we have to create the template, okay, for the single product. So how can we do this? So first we have to go inside the templates. And here you can see here, we have the custom product page. So I will simply click on the edit here. But if you haven't created the new template, you will simply click on add new template. Okay, so let's click on edit here. And we have to click on edit with Elementor. Alright, so here you can see is we are inside the Elementor editor. So here we're going to build our customized product page. So the first thing that I need to do here is to add container. So let's add the flex box. This will be the single column structure. And let's just add one more container here. And we have to set the direction so that would be the vertical. Okay, so now what we need to do, we have to add the product title. Okay, so let's add the product title here. Alright, so you can see here we have the product title by the shop lender. So WL simply stand for wool lender. The wool lender was actually the former name of the shop lender. So let's drag this and put this here. Alright. So after this, what we need to do, we have to add the description of the product. Alright. So we're gonna simply add the product description. And after this, what we need to add we can basically add the pricing or something like this so let's add the price here so let's add the product price all right so after the product price what we can do we can add the add to cart button all right so we're gonna simply drag add to cart button so in the add to cart button you can see that we have the layout so we're gonna go here with the layout one this is looking okay and let's just go here with the layout 2. Alright, so I think this is looking better. We can change the colors here but otherwise this is looking better. Or let's just explore the layout 3. And let's just explore the layout 4. Alright, so this is looking fine. This is looking elegant. So I'm going to go here with the layout 4. Okay. So after the add to card, I'm going to write down stock here. Okay, so we're going to simply drag this and put this here. All right, so we have this and I think this is enough right now. Okay, so one thing that I need to do here, I'm going to simply click on our main container and I will simply change the direction of it. So this would be into the horizontal. All right, and I would add one more container. All right, so now this is looking fine. And in this container, I will be adding product image. So let's add the product image. And now this would look better. All right, so this is looking fine. All right, so now what we need to do, we have to place these items into the center. So let's click our main container and we have to put the things into the center. All right, so let's just add some padding here at the bottom. So this would be 20 px or maybe we can go here with the 40 px. All right, so now this is looking better. All right, so what we can do here, we can increase the size of our first container, this one, okay? So let's click on our main container and here what we need to do, we have to increase the width of it. All right. So I think this is, this is looking better. And now let's just add some spacing now. So let's add this on the right side and also on the left side. All right. So similarly, I would add some spacing here, go into the style and, and we have to add some margin here. So this will be 30. And this will also be 30. And for the bottom, I'm going to go here with the 40. Or maybe 30. Similarly, we have to change the values here in our pricing. 
So in the pricing, we have to add the margin. So the right value would be 30 and the left value would be 30. Okay. And I think this is looking fine. And also for the uh, add to cart button. So let's go here into the style. All right. So here we have to add the padding in our quantity. So I would add 30 here or maybe 20. Let's go here with the 25. This is looking better. Alright, so here after the quantity, I will simply go here inside the advanced setting and I will add some margin here. So let's just write down 30 maybe. Yeah, this is looking better and also 20 at the top. Now this is looking fine and same goes for the last one. So here we have to go inside the advanced. So let's add the 30 here and now this is looking better. Okay, so after this, what we need to do, we can add the related products. Okay, so let's just go back here and write down related. And you can see the WL related products. We have to drag this and put this here. And now you will be able to see the related product. Okay, so after the related products, what we can do here, we can also put reviews here. Okay. So you can see here we have the customer review. So I would like to add the customer reviews after the related products. And in the customer reviews, you can see here you can add the reviews, you can delete the reviews from here. Okay. And you can also change the style of it. So I will simply go here with the second style. Okay, so I think this is looking better. And now let's just publish this. All right, so one thing that I need to do here, I have to add some spacing here. Okay, so let's just add our main container. Now we have to go back into the advanced. We have to add some padding at the top. So I would go here with the 50 or maybe 100. Okay, so now this is looking better. Alright, so here I would like to add one more thing. So that would be the heading first. So I'm going to write down the heading. Alright, so the heading would be our selling product. Okay. So you can simply put any heading here. Basically depends on your requirement. And here I'm going to simply add product tab. So let's drag this and put this here after our heading. And now you will be able to see list of products here. Okay. And we can also do one more thing that I simply missed. That is the breadcrumb. So let's just add the breadcrumb before our adding of the product. All right. So now this is looking better. We need to go into the style or maybe into the advanced. Let's just add the margin here. Now this is looking perfect. All right. So everything is looking great now. So let's update this. Now we have to go back to our WordPress dashboard. Alright, so now what we need to do here, we have to click on the shop blender. And now we have to select the single product template. So let's select the template. And you can see here, we have the custom product page that we have created. So let's select this, click on the save changes. Now let's go to our products. And here what you need to do, you just have to click on the view. And now you will be able to see our customized product page design. Okay, so now you can see here we have our title, we have our description and you can see our images here. And after this, we have the hot selling products. And after that, we have the related product and then we have our customer reviews. Okay, so now this is looking really great. And this is how you can create customized product page in WooCommerce using Elementor. So if you really find this video useful, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel.